John Proxy on the channel, John of the West, I'm having a, a Divinity Original Sin 2 adventure, the an Original Sin. I'm levelling up, that's what I'm doing, we're level 7 now. Oh, very sneaky. Um, I don't really need his wits up. Strength. More strength. dual wielding. But he can have necromancer stuff now. He's ne necromancer free. Two from gear, but still. I can make this work. Maybe. More aerothurge, I think. And more intelligence. Oh, it's finesse has gone up. Can make this work. Maybe. I can make this work. Maybe. Let's put the intelligence up twice. Okay, I'm thinking pyrokinetic up more. So if I do get some fire skills, they'll be slightly better. to Gareth. We want to go into that other dungeon place. It's probably not terribly big. Um, the young man has abandoned the maps and now prepares his armor with happy urgency. He sees you approach. So I've got sound. I do. Thank you for finding Gareth, stranger. I owe you. We all do. I just hope he's found what we need to get past the Magisters. Then we might actually have a chance at surviving this. Now with Sir Gareth back to lead us, and if I know him, he must have found those source weapons, we might actually have a chance at surviving this. Yeah. What word do you bring? Um, tell Gareth you've been to the Hall of Echoes. Could you be one of the gold, uh, the God woken. You have spoken to a god? Gareth stares intently, not so much at you as through you. Yes, I see something there. But it's not for me to say. I must get you to Malady. She will know. She was imprisoned on the Lady Vengeance, one of the few of us not left to rot on the sand and sun. All the more vital we take the ship from the Magisters. God woken. Cool. That he didn't immediately dismiss it makes him trustworthy. Um, inform Gareth you managed to find the one that will see the Shriekers dead. I had no doubt. You bring me hope, sorcerer. Oh, wow, that's I'll a lot gather of the other seekers and travel to shore. Meet us there as soon as you can. Gareth's voice echoes throughout the enclave with such command it could rouse a fawn to action. Well, it's pronounced enclave, not enclave. We move, seekers. Now is the time to resist. The Lady Vengeance will be ours! What's that flag? It's just a hideout flag. Cool. We have a bunch of stuff we need to do. Or at least, some pigs to visit. Oh, bless. Um, be real, real condescending with it. Um, there's probably a bunch of skeletons that I've not killed yet as well. Don't step on the traps. Let's save my game as well. Yeah, we're not going to go do that mission until uh, later.
The menacing skeletal guardian looks at you wearily, then yawns. So you dare defy the will of Blackus Rex, prepare to die, and so on and so forth. Let's get this over with. Red Prince, demand to be told what house this undead lizard once belonged to. Law? But I obey our laws no longer. Their authority does not extend into the endless days of death. I hope this brings the discussion to an end. I don't like being roused from slumber, only to be greeted by such banality. Scratch your head. Do skeletons really sleep? Well, I wouldn't have said so if they didn't. Can't eat, sadly. Food goes right through you. Too bad, too, since those fiery hogs gave me a hankering for a good pork stew. Tell her Bracchus Rex is dead. Why does she still do the Source King's bidding? She moans impatiently and taps her bony foot. Yes, yes, I know he's dead. I am still obligated to perform his wishes. He may not live, but the threat of his curse hangs over me. Press on further, what curse threatens her? Who is to say? Could any curse be more grave than this interminable conversation? Now let's get down to business. All this talking exhausts me. I'm curious, so I'm going to save my game and see if I can bless her. Cool, doesn't seem so. Let's not. Let's unwaste that bless. Yeah, I should have tried wits, but my wits isn't terribly high. So, I was thinking. I wasn't sure if that was home or not, but there were six people and there were seven God, God Awoken, presumably. One for each God. But that doesn't look like um, the girl. But maybe it's just because it's a better picture than it is an in game thing. Like, he doesn't look that much like Dwarf either. Why does it put him so far down? Lizards. Lizards in their fire. Right, what have we got? An illuminator. Uh, a magical dwarven, uh, an unidentified helmet. I forgot to identify all the stuff. Necklace of the sun. Perseverance won't be good. Soothing cold. That's literally for her, right? Uh, should we bless all the rest of these pigs? I know I don't need to. It seems mean not to. Uh. 
So this is why there's so many pools about. So I don't have to run off somewhere. I'm getting experience with this as well, actually. Right. That's my good deed. Bless. The flames are extinguished. Thank you. Aww. I know they used to be people, but it's still cute. Um, come on, there needs to be one more around here. Really annoying if there's you know, just one pool missing. It's not terribly far from the teleport point, but that's besides the point. Right, fine. There's a bunch of stuff I've got to do, so I'll try not to forget. Save a game as well. Like we've got a shrieker we can kill as well. I'd say we should stop to talk, but I'm swamped. <laughs> As if I'm gonna kill her. Okay, so I could have presumably saved these guys with a bless. Hang on, let's do that. Knowing the reputation of Brachus Rex. We should tread gingerly. Right, how big do you think this place is? You know what, it's probably not very big at all, so let's continue with this. What is this contraption? Before you stands an ancient shrine. Runes carved deep into its rock. Examine... Uh, take your leave. Let's use the white pass. Before you stands an ancient shrine. Runes carved deep into its rock. Examine the, the shrine. The runes are in no language you understand or recognize. The shrine seems completely inert. Lay your hand against the runes. Your fingertips tingle as you reach out to the shrine. You feel power stir in your chest, but you feel lacking. Like a cup waiting to be filled. Before you stands at the runes are in, you feel the source inside you swell up, filling your chest, yearning to be free. Fo uh, you focus your power, calling the source to your fingertips. tips. Your power flows from your chest and into your hands, green tendrils of power slithering from your fingertips across the shrine. The shrine starts to vibrate and glow, slabs of stone gliding across each other as it begins to open. Oh. Ah. Good fine. Minus one leadership. It is is it cursed? 
He doesn't appear to be cursed. I'll save my game though. It's not that good actually. His most esteemed majesty, Bracchus Rex. His most gracious highness, Bracchus Rex. I have to feel for the voice actor. It's like, really? You want me to? Okay, fine. Catch you up on your deeds of the Daring Do. Is that all you've got? I hope your next visit is more enlightening. I just spoke to a god. Hang on. Uh, let's have a look at the quest as well. There's something demonic about the Tyrant's Helm. Can I bless the ring? No. I should consider putting the ring on though. No, that seems like a terrible idea, but before we leave this place... Let's drink our fill. bunch of fights we need to do as well, but where is the purging wand? Ah. Oh, well, let's put it there for Tommy. I'm guessing that's one of those shriekers. Whatever it is, it looks dangerous. Where's Purge? anyone can use it but we destroyed a seeker Darlene keep moving friend I have magisters to kill oh dead Right. Let's repair. Let's identify all the stuff before I forget. Hmm. This nipple was 
stuff instead. Let's talk to uh, you, man. Fine, they've all gone. Right, we've got a witch to fight. We've got Gareth's rallying point. Um. I think I'll save that for the start of next episode, Bracus's Armoury. Alcove and Feng. Oh yeah, I was supposed to mark more people. What happens if I go back to Fort Joy now? Does everyone attack me? Because I might be able to do those fights now. Ram. And glory is mine. I wish I wasn't quite so far away. Courage. Backlash. No. What happened there? Okay, cool. I should do that when I'm not in combat. Where's my flurry? Well, look 
at odds there. You're not trying to escape, are you? Cool. Yeah. We should farm this place for all the XP we can get. Not now, though. But I'm happy I did that. The way this game works, it feels like I really should just be farming anything that's killable. Because of the way the levels work. Um, save that pig. big fight that happens here, so that's the sort of exciting thing I can do, I guess. But yeah. I just want to get all the small quests I've not quite finished done. The curse is lifted! Thank you, stranger! Cool. I think I said green pigs now. Uh, pigs were we blessed. Cool. Um, what else? I could do that fight. I'm just gonna go to the Dragon's Beach. There is a fight against loads of burning people. I don't know why I went there because clearly I need to get my. Bless is back. Bless is back. Back again. Saw that, John. Bless is back. Bless is black. Stop that. So we have uh, at least one, like, was it a lizard? It's a dude with a bunch of skeletons. We have some fire dudes to fight. The fire dudes weren't that strong, were they? I, I was just a little bit hurt. And I've leveled up since then, so they seem like they'll be pretty easy to deal with. Right. So we go to fight the skeletons. Quickest way is from the witch's location. Well, I can fight the witch. Am I strong enough to fight the witch? Let's find out. A tall woman stands amid a field of corpses, some fresh, some ancient. I want everyone to be over there. Ah!
The woman turns to you, bitten lips parting into a grin. She tucks a small bunch of black red roses into a leather strap across her left hip and, preparing to curtsy, offers you a hand. I'll tell you what, I've saved. Let's take her hand. She lowers herself slowly, deeply, holding your gaze. Her hand is slight and warm, her touch delicate. As she rises up to her full height, the stench of death and excrement assaults you. Unfazed, you breathe deep. No, 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 no. Fight the urge to be sick and introduce yourself. I am Radica. And you, you must be here for the same reason as I. She pats the bouquet at her hip. But you're too late. These roses belong to me. Looks like we'll have to find some other way to keep you busy. Smile. Notice the way the clasps and buckles on her outfit press into her caramel skin. To let she has your attention. She bites her lip and leans in, close to your face. As she whispers, her breath, faintly fragrant with a sweet honeyish smell, caresses your ear. You almost forget where you are. I'm not sure how that would be possible with the smell of death and excrement, but whatever. I find you rather delicious. Um, this is an awful idea, but I am curious. So take her by the hip and kiss her deeply. Suddenly, her breath sours in your mouth. It is rank, mouldering, thick with the taint of death. You try to pull away, but she is holding you tight and hard. You hear a low hum, getting louder. Before you realize what's happening, winged insects pour from her throat down yours. They ricochet around your mouth, a wet, buzzing mass, more by the second. Suddenly, all at once, they start stinging you from inside. Give yourself over to this, there's no stopping it. You are powerless. The flies sting you and sting you and sting you. After you are almost completely spent, the witch releases you from her grasp and stands back, wiping her mouth. Bloody delicious. Tell me, little man, do you know why the soil here is so very fertile? Do you know why it's the only place in Reaper's Coast where blood roses grow? Tell her it's the corpses. Blood rose is only grow in soil rich with corpses. Very good. Lovely. I'll need more roses soon enough. I already started with the last traveler who interrupted me. Come, let's make next year's harvest a real bounty. Right, so... Obviously I'm not going to keep that, but I'm glad I did, because like I would have missed that dialogue. And I can do that. It's nice. It was nice. Every, like, you'd have to be a bloody fool to do that, and in earnest. And it's quite obvious. They're not being subtle about it, but it was nice that they had the option there. Is she a woman, or was there, was there just in, like somebody missing? Hmm. A tall woman stands amid a field of corpses. Well, check out the skull pile. everything the woman turns to you bitten lips parting into a grin she tucks a small but what a ball she stands to her full height her lips pursed in disappointment she cocks her head and takes you in the stench of death and sewage suddenly intensifies cough and cover your nose and mouth with your hands skip introductions and tell her the corpse at her feet can't account for such a powerful stench now now that's enough of that Ave de more de mere galach. You recognize the chant of the infamous cult of the Black Ring? Radica notes the recognition in your eyes. Very good, kitten. Now, I imagine you're here for the same reason I am. She pats the bouquet. But you're too late. 
These roses belong to me. Looks like we'll have to find some other way to keep you busy. You don't know what she's talking about. What roses? <laughs> As though you don't know. This is the one place in all of Reaper's Coast where blood roses actually thrive. I suppose you just stumbled in by mistake. Tell her you did. You escaped from Fort Joy and looking for a way off the island. Disgusting how they keep our kind trapped here. We are the most powerful beings in all of Rivalon. Bracchus Rex knew that, and he populated this cavern with the bodies of those who stood in his way. Our way. I can only imagine all the terrible ways he mangled them before he finally killed them. It must have been so extravagant. That's got to describe some of what she imagined. She draws closer to you. You feel the heat of her body next to yours. I saw a skull over there. There were fine, very fine holes through every inch of it. Can you imagine how fine an implement he'd have used? Tell her to go on. And I heard rumors. He had a wand that could purge the source from whoever he so chose. He could collect the source and use it himself. Can you imagine it? Being so very swollen with the power of a myriad of lost souls. Go on. Her eyes lock with yours. Her lids are heavy. Her lips are moist. I find you rather delicious. Pull away. It seems like a bad idea. Just because something is bad. Doesn't mean you ought not to do it, love. She presses her lips to yours. Her mouth is soft, her breath sweet. She kisses you gently, then harder, her teeth raking softly across your tongue. Suddenly, her breath sours in your mouth. It is rank, moldering, thick with the taint of death. You try to pull away, but she is holding... Oh. You hear a low hum, getting louder. Before you realize what's happening, winged insects pour from her throat down yours. They ricochet around your mouth, a wet, buzzing mass, more by the second. Okay, there's nothing to gain from the conversation, which is a bit of a shame. I guess you might not have known about the sauce. The delicious sauce. Gub. I'm just going to attack her with the, um, a flurry, I think. No, uh, whatever the strongest hit is. What is this place? Oh, I forgot to loot. A tall woman stand. I think we have more physical. Yeah, okay, physical. We'll do. Flurry of her. Uh, what's the other thing? Is there another thing? Was a pain. Backlash. <laughs> I'm actually going to do adrenaline. Second so uh, flurry. Right, I feel like that's a pretty good start. Oh, Los is dead. Blimey. Uh, do you think they'll go away? Hang on, let's save this just in case. I didn't realise that that was like a one-hit kill on Los. Los has got the bloody teleport as well.
things there. Sister, okay. Uh... There are a lot of enemies here. Judge. Uh, Weird sister is, um, Shakespeare, isn't it? Like, her immediately dying is really harsh. She had the teleport spell, she could have put me up there, it would have been really good. So I'm going to actually take that kill back. Okay. And I don't need to loot until afterwards. A tall woman stands amid a field of corpses. So So I think you two and you Stabby, stabby. Go there. I wanted you 
go up there. Got to do this pretty quickly, don't I? Where did piece one go? Oh, I hate it when it does that. I see. Well, I could have got that and I didn't, did I? Never mind. Would be a good idea. And adrenaline. Hmm. Yeah, I may as well do this. It puts me in perfect position. Backstab. Turn. It's battering around this guy. No. Close, isn't it? And turn. Right. She's going to attack carrying people, I think. the undead meta. There's still a lot of them. She gets a turn before I do.
flurry on this Oh, she's got Dominate on. That's... Dead. Cool. Now that's dead. Blesses. Fortify bless first aid. I'm to die. My staff's really strong. I need to make sure she doesn't die. Bloody corpse. Oh, I didn't even see you. Never mind. Beetle's uh, being a bit of a bastard. Let's heal.
Oh, she was undead. That's really annoying. Why is she diseased? Bless you. Backlash of all. Okay, you might make it through this. people to find. Let's have the magic taking off it. Keep your mind on you. So wide. Just moved, didn't it? Again, her electrical is different than his. Yeah. 
adrenaline. And this flesh sacrifice, which is she how is she fully healed? I don't know how, but No, no, no! There you go. There's an other pod leg. Let's get the most exact stuff. Right, so unidentified shield. Infect. Blood rose. Awesome. Leggings. Ring. Gold. A wand. Radica's purging wand. Awesome. Glad I did that then. But I'm just gonna pick up everything else, then let you go. Ooh, how pensively I Ooh, it's a tormented soul. this now. They've added it to where's. Come on, I know there's something else there. There's a bloody corpse up there still as well. Uh, I've learned the perfect scent to complete my collection, the rarest bouquet of all, death itself. Spiced with filth and tinged with sadness, the name of such treasure, Atta of the Blood Rose. Petals of free blood roses, when crushed, will yield this most intoxicating perfume. I found the location where the blood rose grows deep underground on an island of Brachus Rex. From the bones of his tortured dead, I will journey there to find the blossoms. Oh, sweet nectar, how I long to smell it. Uh, I have arrived in the caverns and not sighted a single rose, yet one sniff of the air assures me they are close. I must delve de deeper. Anything else? Right. Well, I've been John Foxy on the channel, John West. I'm going to save my game, lest I forget. Uh, Dead Witch, uh, I've been having a divinity, where's my face, why's my face paused? Face! I've been having a divinity original sin 2 adventure, the unoriginal sin. And I'll see you guys next time, thank you.